Well, it's good to have you back on ENC at three. It's time for Mixing with Maggie. It is arguably the best time <laughs> of the week, Maggie. And we have selected something that I think you can bring to pretty much any gathering. Yep. yep. This is a people pleaser. It is. Everyone likes a potato. They do. And this is potatoes. So Perfect. it's great. All right, let's get right into it. What are we making? Well, we're making loaded potato mashed potato cups. So whatever you would put in a loaded baked potato is what you could put in this recipe. Okay, creative uh, power here. Yep. You can kind of tailor it to however you'd like. Exactly. Here I have cut up some chives, some green onions. Um, we've got some bacon bits. Um, and we've got obviously cheese, two types obviously. of cheese, Parmesan and cheddar. So, Very but good. if you like more, I know some people put like olives and stuff on there. I potatoes. think you could yeah. if you chop them up smaller, yeah, maybe to fit. Exactly. So, yeah. But yeah, you ready to get going? Yeah. yeah let's, let's first step. Dustin, are you ready? I am. Yeah, Dustin. <laughs> I have decided that Dustin's in charge of the mixer because I don't trust yeah. myself. She said she legally one. was not allowed. No. <laughs> Mostly joking, but also I don't think you want that on live television. So Dustin, there's a lot of trust on your shoulders yeah, here. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. So I've started by boiling four potatoes, um, and I kind of just quartered them. I boiled them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So um, then I've put them in the mixer. I've already put some butter in there so it would melt. We okay. kind of mixed them up a little bit. Okay. So that's the first steps. Um, here we have three-fourths cup of milk. If you want to kind of slowly start pouring that in. Okay. And we can turn the mixer on to maybe one. Start small. Yeah. Yeah. Just slowly pour it in. This is the oh. Well, here we go. The magic of live TV. Into folks. the bowl, Dustin. Into the bowl, as they say, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not if I'm not smashing cookies, I'm either spilling milk now. Maggie, so here I think we you should have made good. it more clear yeah, that he yeah. needed to put it in there. It's okay. Instead of on the table. No, nope, and that's okay. It's okay. Most of the time made it into the bowl. Yes. The majority the majority is in there and that's really all that matters. That is. As so you can yeah. tell, a computer has took over my uh, job now instead of smashing cookies. <laughs> okay, so, so I guess I could have operated that it's without. Not too bad. I was a little scared. But. All right, so this is this is a lot of sour cream. Obviously, you don't have to use all of this. It's supposed to be three fourths of cup. Um, I, I just kind of like always slap some in sour the, yeah, cream's yeah. involved. So if you want to, you know, slowly put some of that in there. You don't have to put all of it if okay. you don't want to. Now, gotcha. what's the measurement? Ideally, um, the three fourths cup. Three fourths cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's adding it slowly, that just slowly. like suggests it. Yes, you, I feel like that's that's something you have to always remember with yes. a mixer, a little bit at a time. Because you obviously don't want your mashed potatoes to be liquidy. That would that would oh, be no. catastrophic. No okay, it. so if you would see at any point that this is getting too liquidy, you yes. would stop then yes. putting it in. Okay. Yes. I think we've put in about four spoons full, so I think that's maybe one more to eat. Yeah, we'll do one more and that'll be good. There you go. Perfect. That's a nice big lump of that. That's great. Now, ideally, would you have a spatula to kind of guide what's in there yes. out of the edges? Yep. Okay. I just forgot that. That's okay. You know, but that's okay. That's fine. This is the, the lesson you learn. If you forget some of your tools, you can still make it. Exactly. It's all right. Exactly. All right, so now that that's done, we've kind of mixed that together. Now we can start putting in the fun stuff. Love that. Okay. So, like you said, you have you have chives, uh, yep. bacon bits, and some cheese. There. That's some parmesan, parmesan, parmesan cheese. Okay, and all of that is about one fourth of a cup. Okay. All right. So hands have been washed. I'll let people know. I promise you, I'm not <laughs> doing just, uh, be that. Might be better. Spoon it in there. Yeah. Here we go. Let's Something do. Bigger. Let's do that. Kind of like even better. We're gonna have a, a yeah. nice little mixture of all of them. There you you go. know. And I could also watch this. Turn this oh, bad boy wow. off. Wow, look at this. Okay, bring this up That's a little. That's the smart way to Maybe do it. Maybe we could have done that with the milk. We yeah, could have. That's, that's okay. okay, though, because we're learning as we go we're along. We're just playing we a prank <laughs> on you, Dustin. <laughs> you fell for it. Yeah, I'm just a weather forecaster, not a chef or a, <laughs> I mean, or a you're cookster. Doing great, but though. you know what, though? I will take this any day. You can learn to be a chef through mixing with Maggie, right, Maggie? Yeah. Oh, you should teach, teach private yeah. lessons. Chef Staples was in the house today. That's along exactly with what our, I did today. Chef foodie. Staples, that rings well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, thanks. <laughs> All right, now here we've got about one fourth teaspoon of, no, a half a teaspoon, <laughs> excuse me, of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Okay. Put that in here. We'll put that online, right, so people don't have to remember yes, the whole thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay, so there's that. All right, and now. Just put this down like this. There we go. And then you can turn it. That's a very quiet mixer, which I it like. Is. Yeah. I, it is. It doesn't stress you. Loud noises tend to stress me out. You're so not waking really the family up. Exactly. Yeah. You could make this at midnight if you wanted it. Okay. <laughs> so I could even have their sleep. You really could. And once this is finished, then what what kind of consistency are we looking for? Um, honestly, it's kind of whatever consistency you would like. Okay. I know some people like potatoes that have maybe little chunks of potatoes in them. Okay. Um, so Versus more smooth. So yeah, someone exactly. Might prefer the it's just personal preference. Okay. And then you're going to spoon that into, into here. Yep. And I okay. think we're done. If we want to turn that off, there we go. And we will. 
Okay, yes. so while you start to spoon that into the containers, I want to get the final product here. Yes. So I can show that off to people. Now, how long did this bake and what temperature? So it baked at 400, degree, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes, I would say. Okay, so um, preheat things to 400 if you're making this and then about I like a things crispier. Okay. They, yeah, these do have some nice crisp to them. Yeah. Now, these, you said 30 minutes? Is mm -hmm. that okay. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye on it as it's baking then. Right. Just to make yeah. sure it's to the right consistency that you like. Yep. Okay, exactly. perfect. Very good. And then, like you said, you can put some cheese on here. Mm -hmm. And so I think we were going to try them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's, Let's do it. it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to put some cheese. Now, you've designated one for me, right? Th yes, this one. This one. Okay. Yep, that's for you. Thank you. This is my preferred level of cheese. <laughs> Actually, it would be more, but for the sake of this. All right, pick one up for you, Maggie All and right. Dustin. Okay, thank you. All and right. We'll cheers our little, what are they called again? Uh, potato uh, cups. Loaded mashed potato cups. Yep. <laughs> okay, there you okay. go. <laughs> cheers. 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 That's a long name. Mm. Did you guys get the crunch? Mm. You hear that on camera? <laughs> it was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. I like it. I'd eat about four of them. All right. Well, while we finish these up, guys, we have more good stuff coming up on ENC at 3. So don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll join you right after this break.